Hey guys, I gotta say, what a pleasure it is to be joining RACC TV today. So, let's get started. Now, superheroes are people with superhuman abilities. But there are some people who may assume we're science fiction. <sighs> I'm offended. But what does the student body believe about superhero crime fighters? Do you think superheroes are real? Well, there are marines. Do you think superheroes are real? No. Superheroes? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can you give us one example? Justin Bieber. Do you think superheroes are real? Yes. Give us one example. Hulk. Um, let's see. There's Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, obviously. Do you think superheroes are real? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you believe there are any humans on this planet with superhuman abilities? Yes. Can you give us one example? There's this guy in India that can't be electrocuted. Do you think there's any human on this planet that has superhuman abilities? Uh, my dad? I believe Ms. Salvar has superpowers. She has the power to teach me Spanish. Anyone can be a superhero. You just need to show the world that you're not afraid of who you are and you can do something to make life easier. For RACC TV, I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. One of the greatest movies that came out in theaters during this holiday season is the Peanuts movie. The movie got an 86% from critics and 82% from audience on Rotten Tomatoes. The film has a lot, of, a lot of hilarious scenes and it's an amazing 3D. The movie is made from Blue Sky Studios, one of the best computer animated companies in the world. The holiday movies that are coming to theaters this holiday season are Disney and Pixar's The Good Dinosaur, Dreamers Kung Fu Panda 3, The Final Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2, Road Chip with Alvin the Chipmunks, and of course Star Wars The Force Awakens, the movie we've all been waiting for. I hope to see you at the movies during the winter break. For ICC TV, I'm Luke Sahadu. Many people think that they are able to spell some of the simplest words, words we use every day. We put a few FHS students to the test. W E D N E S D A Y. W E D N E S D A Y. W E D N E S D A Y. W E D E. Uh. <laughs> All right. W E D N E S D A Y. Let's go. W E D N E S D A Y. W E D N E S D A Y. Winston. M I S C H I E V I O U S. I, I don't know. M I S C. I don't know. T O M M O R O W. T O M M O R R R R R R R. T O M O R R O W. T O M O R R O W. O C C A S I O N A L L Y O C C O A S I O N A L L Y O C 
right? C A T I O N A L Y swag. Do you think you would have been able to spell all these words correctly? Can you spell raccoon? R A Until next time, I'm Hannah Drain and I'm Anaya Alamar. It's that time of year where we sit down with our family and friends and turn on holiday movies. There are so many students at Frisco High who love to sit and watch movies during the winter break. What is your favorite holiday movie? Christmas Vacation. And do you have a favorite scene from that movie? I can't say it. <laughs> Elf. Do you have a favorite scene from the movie Elf? Probably when he's explaining his trip to New York. My very favorite is Love Actually. I watch it every year. I love that movie. I don't know if that counts as a holiday movie or not. My favorite scene is when um, it's at the very end and Colin Firth is going to get the girl that he loves and he's learned her language and she's learned his language and he's talking to her and she's waitressing and she's up on the balcony and he's down below and it's like Romeo and Juliet. Yes, this being my answer. <laughs> Uh, Elf. And do you have a favorite scene from that movie? Uh, when he's singing in the store. Mr. Batcher, do you have a favorite holiday movie? Yes, Cool Hand Luke. What we've got here is failure to communicate. And no, but is it like a holiday movie? <laughs> oh. oh, um, Miracle on 34th Street. It's a Wonderful Life, classically, but Elf is definitely my favorite. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Can't have it without Christmas, so, yeah. The Grinch. That's a good one. Do you have a favorite scene from that movie? Him being on top of the mountain, and he's c crying. I like a Christmas story. I like when he comes down in the pink bunny. Wow, it was so great to hear all about the holiday movies that people liked. And don't forget their favorite scenes, too. <gasps> the bell still rings for all who truly believe. For RICC TV, I'm Morgan Diggs. And I'm Shayla Babbitt. It's not often that RICC TV delves into serious topics, but I would like to ask something very delicate in a responsible way. How did you learn the truth about Santa Claus? How did you find out the truth about Santa? Well, back when I was a young boy, um, we were down in the sticks, and my uncle's brother's kid, he done told me because Santa didn't come that year because he said he didn't come to the sticks. But uh, anyway, that's what my father said. But then my uncle's brother's kid, he actually told me the truth that Santa wasn't real. And man, that just it broke my heart. Well, one night on Christmas, I went downstairs and I saw my dad drinking all the milk and eating all the cookies. And I saw my mom putting the presents under the tree. And so then I was, then I started like bawling, crying because I was like, you lied to me. Santa Claus is not real. I found out by my friends telling me and they ruined my life. It was a long time ago. Um, it would have been my neighbor. I was six and this, my neighbor named Charlie used to tell me all the secrets of life. And I'm pretty sure he's the one who told me. Well, my mom forgot that I had a Facebook at the time, and I was scrolling through my Facebook, and then I saw her post that said, Elena knows who the Tooth Fairy is. I wonder if she knows who Santa Claus is. My life was ruined ever since then. I figured out who Santa Claus really was. It was, it was a sad day. I was walking downstairs on Christmas Eve, and I saw a fat guy filling the stockings, and I thought it was Santa, but then he turned around, and uh, I realized it was my grandpa. Wait, Santa's not real? Okay. We appreciate those who opened their hearts and shared their personal stories with us. For those who are still struggling with this revelation, the counselors have made themselves available. For RACC TV, I'm Kylie Keyes. Happy Holidays! This is the time of the year where we often see an increase in colds and the flu. The number one way to avoid getting sick this holiday season is to wash your hands. It sounds like a task that's not much fun, but here's Nurse Trudy to explain how it's done.
Hey everybody, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you want to stay healthy, this is what you got to do. You got to wash your hands every chance you get. You're going to put them in the water, get them really, really wet, then you take a bunch of soap and you rub it all around. Do the front, do the back, in between your fingers, do your fingernails too. You want to rub kind of fast, try to make some friction. How long does that take? Well, that's a good question, about 20 seconds. Not very long, just enough time to sing a happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you! Twice. Happy birthday to you! So you're standing at the sink and you're scrubbing away and you're singing happy birthday. People are going to think you're crazy, but that's okay because you're going to stay healthy. Yeah, that's the way. Ho, 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 and welcome to the Weekend Weather Show. Yeehaw. I'm Kinsley Cook. And I'm Caden Wright. It's finally here, the Friday before the break, the last day of school for two weeks, the end. Done. Dunskies. Dunion rings. Okay, we get it. What's the forecast? Today will be sunny with a high of 54 and a low of 37. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 61 and a low of 50. Sunday, some clouds will roll in, but no rain, with a high of 69 and a low of 52. Tonight, our basketball team square off against Independence at Independence. Let's start this break with a big dub. Well, guys, we made it. Only a few more class periods and then we're free. At last. We hope you all have a safe and enjoyable break. We'll see you next year for ICC TV. I'm Kinsley Cook. And I'm Caden Wright. And have a Merry Christmas and a very safe New Year's.